Hey guys, I am just getting on here to give you a few quick instructions. I wanted to show you our assignment that I did. I haven't quite posted it yet, but some of you will be starting on certain times and some of you guys others. So I'm going to get this done now, predicting future weather. So it's going to be called Cloud Reading and Investigation. If you guys open it, it's going to look a little different than mine because like I said, I haven't assigned it yet. So here is what it says. You're going to read the Reading Investigate Clouds. You'll watch the video called Video Cloud in a Jar Experiment, and then you're going to click Investigate Clouds dot docs and answer the questions. So you start here, you read this. You watch a quick two minute video here, and then you will be able to type in your answers to this document. So first, let me show you what the reading is going to look like. I am not going to do the reading right now just because for the sake of the video, it would be very long. Um, I might make an additional one later where we read it together if you need some help because there is a few pages of reading as you can see. So these, the main idea of this reading is to talk about how to how clouds are made. Uh, it goes right along with that video, um, the Crusoe making drinking water video. It talks about the water cycle, evaporation, condensation, a cloud and precipitation. So you guys should already have a good idea of those things. And then down here, it describes a few different types of clouds. So there's cirrus, alto, stratus, cumulus, and a combination cloud. Um, and those are just details to help explain to you a, a little more about the clouds. If you scroll down here, you don't really have to do anything with this right at the moment, but it's an experiment that you're going to be watching in a video in case you can't do this at home or whatever. Um, you can do it if you have parent help and they're okay with it, but there's step by step directions on how to do it if you prefer to. This is also on that assignment, the one you're going to edit, where it wants you to predict what will happen when you place the metal plate with ice over the mouth of the jar after you've added, I want to say, hairspray, aerosol, and hot water in here. And then say what actually happens. So this part is just the prediction. So when you're watching the video, when you see them start it, just pause. You'll answer the question, your prediction. And then after you continue playing, then you would say what actually happened. So that is that. That's the reading part. And then I'm going to include sound on here. I go back and there's the video, Cloud in a Jar Experiment. It's just one that I found from YouTube so that I... Hey everyone, it is Danielle. ...create the wheel here, but this lady explains what she does. Um, I am not going to play the video all the way through because I want you to be able to make those predictions. So, um, by the way, they use blue water because they add food coloring to it. Uh, just so you can see it. And then they sprayed some aerosol in there and then they put the lid on. This is about where you would want to pause it to make the first prediction and then you would keep playing it to find out what actually happens. I don't want to show you that right now because it's for you to learn. OK, then if you go back to the assignment, so let's say we've done all the reading, we went to that video, we watched the whole thing and we're ready to write down our answers. So if you go to investigatecloud.docs, you're going to open that up. And if you see it's highlighted those questions that you're going to want to answer so or I'm sorry the the experiment is highlighted so you don't have to do that part that's just if you were um, wanting to do the experiment but this is just that so it says when we place the metal plate over so remember the prediction part what did you predict you would just type it right here and then afterwards what did you observe you write it right here and then there's uh, seven questions down here it says Describe the three parts of the water cycle, which hopefully you remember from the reading and the Crusoe video. Um, and then from the actual reading, what describe what cirrus clouds are like, alto clouds, stratus clouds, cumulus clouds, and what is the difference between cirrostratus and alto cumulus clouds? So you're going to want to take a look back at that reading if you can't remember what those two were about and try to see um, I'm sure they're alike in a few ways, but what are the differences between them? 
And then in the investigation, was your prediction correct? Explain your answer. So whether it's right or wrong, it's totally fine. It's a prediction, but um, yes, I was correct because this, or no, I was not correct because this, or I was a little correct here, or a little incorrect or wrong here. And then so you would just answer all of that. This will be probably at least a two day assignment. So my plan is whatever day you get this, we'll probably do the reading and answer some questions. Then we'll watch the video and answer some questions. So don't feel like you have to rush through and give um, super short, crazy answers because we're going to work on this a lot together. So if you do end up getting stuck, of course, always uh, send me a message on Teams. Ask me in person if you're here. Um, send me a message on um, Class Dojo as well. Please just try your best and um, really, really try to see if we can grow those beautiful brains. Okay. I will see you soon. Bye.